We don't have a lot of time. You want to learn how to increase your chances of getting medical school. I made this video just for you. So let's get into it after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today's video is all about quick tips to help you increase your chances of getting into med school and becoming a doctor. So I'm gonna get right into it. We're gonna put three minutes on the clock. Let's see if I can get there. Tip number one is to make sure you submit your application early. I can't stress this enough. Most of you guys have probably heard this tip, but I want to make sure you understand why. Most applications for United States med schools goes around end of, April, early May. And Texas medical schools have a totally different application, also opens up at the start of May. You want to try your best to submit your application the day it opens or within the first week. The reason is, is students will try to wait till July, August when they feel like their scores are all back or their essays are perfect. But then you're compared to a larger batch of applicants. Med schools will start to get a lot of applicants on day one and even more towards the end of the cycle, uh, closer to August, September, October. You want to be compared to a lesser pool because then the people looking at your application can say, yeah, pretty good student. But as they start to kind of get saturated with more and more students that look exactly like you, it's going to take a bigger threshold for them to say, sure, this person should come for an interview. You don't want to make it harder on yourself to get an interview just because you submitted your application later. So as best as you can, make sure you start working on your application as early as possible. Get your personal statements kind of started. The prompts are almost always the same, guys. So Google what the prompts were the year before and start writing those essays because then you can have them drafted and ready to hit submit. That same also goes for things like your letters of recommendation. Tell your professors the deadline's actually two weeks before you need them because then you can bother them for two weeks if they're late and they'll still be on time. But make sure you submit your applications early. Please do that. And tip number two, guys, is to keep a running list of your experiences and your takeaways. One of the biggest deterrents of people getting into med schools is you sound like just like every other pre-med in the room. And to avoid doing it, you want to make sure that your personal experiences are personal. So keep a list of all the experiences that you've been a part of and what your big takeaway was. Take a second, talk out loud. What did you gain from it? Because although you may have volunteered at the same hospital somebody else did, your takeaway and experiences were totally different. So think about them, keep a running list. You can use these on your personal statement, on your essays, as well as your interview. And you're going to feel like somebody who clearly understands and is self-aware, which is sometimes not quality we find amongst med school applicants because we're all typically same on paper. So try to keep a running list of your experiences. You can use these later in life as well as during the interview process. And the last tip guys, tip number three, I promise this is going to be a quick video, is to focus on your angle. Now this is a point and a topic that I touch on a lot of my videos. I'll link them down below if you want to know more. But your angle is a way to help the person that's interviewing you, the person that's looking at your application to say, huh, that's unique. Like no one else I've read has that. And honestly, all of us have it. It's just, we tend to go with what we think the admission board wants to hear. We're all bio majors. We're all someone in love with science. We love anatomy. We want to love taking care of people and helping people. That's probably defined almost everybody that watches the channel. What makes you different? Find out what parts of your background, your hobbies, you know, your paths in medicine, how has that been different than your classmates that who also want to do the same thing? You have to work on developing it if you don't know what it is. But once you have it, try to structure that into your personal statements, your essays, your experiences, have your letters of recommendation writers include it. Maybe you're an athlete, maybe you're a journalist, and it could be anything. Maybe you're a great researcher, but find that angle and then build your other experiences around that. So it kind of goes back to my last tip of think about your experiences, think about the takeaways and find some common core or cores that are just different or unique because you want to be memorable during the interview process and definitely during the application process. So just take some time, just invest some time to figure out what your angle is, what makes you unique, because then once you figure out what your angles are, you can then structure your application, your essays, your interviews all around it. And be sure when you walk out of the room, that person is going to definitely remember who you were. And that guys is the tips to really increase your chances of going to medical school. I know the video was quick, but those are really powerful, non-fluffy, um, tips that you can use to just immediately increase your chances of getting to medical school. Now, if you want more, you know, obviously the video is quick, then I recommend you guys go on Amazon and check out uh, my book called The Pre-Med Journey, which is a basically a start to finish guide on how to increase your chances of getting into medical school, 
from you know studying to all the way to applying and it's only 99 cents on kindle again that will be linked down below if you guys want it if you guys did enjoy this video and you want me to make more videos on pre-med topics or anything related to getting into medical school make sure you comment down below and i'll be happy to take those suggestions in the future if you did enjoy this video make sure you give a like if you're not subscribed make sure you join the community and if you are subscribed thank you for your support i highly appreciate it and that's going to be it for this video guys if you guys have any questions you know where to find me so i'll see you guys in the next one take care my friends